a hold down man, suitcase this, my cell phone, I'ma charge it on walk with a limp, get it knocked off or missing, you gon' get it, next time I see you ass, you gon' lose airlift. Hey everybody, you already know what time it is man, K for all TV in the building man, so, you know, as y'all see my last video, I went live, you know, I was vibing with my dog Pino or whatnot. Appreciate everybody who was tuning in, all the donations or whatever. That was the biggest donation I've received so far, you know, while being live. Um, I didn't drop anything yesterday or whatever. I figured I'd wait a day or so. So um, today I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to break it down to you or whatever. And I'm going to be talking to you about, you know, bucking a call out. All right. For those who don't really know what that is, that's when you get in an altercation with someone and someone tells you to tighten up, which means like, let's fight, you know, which, or, or someone's telling you, you know, get there, or, you know, just you bucking the call out. That means that someone is challenging you to a brawl, you know, to, 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 to challenge your, your mandom, like your mandom. He's trying your mandom. He's, he's, he wants to see who the dominant one is. So he's calling you out. He's telling you to tighten up, get there. All right. So, you know, you never want to buck a call out, you know? All right. So, I'm going to break it down to you a couple times when um I got in situations and people told me to tighten up, get there, or whatnot, and this and that. Because the one thing Frog don't do is buck a call out. Win, lose, or draw, I'm going to get there. That's simple. And, you know, you never want to buck a call out. Like I said, because all respect goes out the window just like paying rent. The same thing happens when you buck a call out. Alright, so if someone tells you to tighten up and get there, you might as well just get there. All right. So um, I remember when I was at Calhoun or whatnot, um, I was playing spades at the spades table. It was it was a Friday. Today was a Friday. I remember it because everybody was happy. It was the, it was the end of the week. It was, you know, stuff like that. It was Friday. It was going to be Friday night. You know, we were supposed to have Friday night fights at nighttime or whatever. So um, I'm playing at the spades table or whatnot. Um, me and my partner against someone else, you know, we're playing two on two and, um, we ended up losing. So when we lost or whatever, my partner across from me, you know, he was a sore loser. So, you know, he got kind of mad cause he's like, man, why'd you go seven, man? When you ain't get this and this and that. And I'm like, bro, why you went five when you didn't have five books? You feel me? Like, nigga, you, you talking crazy. You, you fit this and this. So then he was like, man, you know what, man, tighten up, man, tighten up. Now, you know, a lot of times people say the words tighten up and, um, they don't mean it like tighten up. You get what I'm saying? So it's like a respect thing to where like you might be joking with your homeboys in prison and you'll hear a lot of people be like, man, tighten down, man. Tighten down, man. And that means like like a joking wise, tighten up. You see what I'm saying? Like if you like if you playing cards and you're like, man, tighten down, man, tighten down, man, tighten that doesn't mean fight me, fight me. That's what you know. So, you know, People would be like, man, tighten down, man, tighten down, just jokingly like that, you feel me? So when he was like, man, tighten up, man, tighten I took it, you know, as like, you feel me, uh, a fighting situation, which is exactly how he meant it anyways. So I guess he just wanted to pull my card to see if I was going to get there or whatnot. So I told him, oh, you ain't saying nothing, fuck, nigga. I called him he called him out of his name like that, you know, disrespect with him or fight words. So then... um. He went to go get his boots on or whatever, boom. And me, I already had my boots on, so I stay strapped or whatever. So next thing you know, we go into the bathroom and everybody's like, man, y'all tripping, man, y'all tripping because hey, we ain't even fighting the opposite team. We fighting each other because we get in an argument over a spades game, you feel me? But at the same time, you know, no one going to tell me to tighten up and me not tighten up. So uh, we go in there. I ain't want to rap. I threw my setup. He threw his setup or whatever. You know, we go to fight. Boom, 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 boom. We go in there. You know, we almost got caught because he tried to grab me. And when he tried to grab me, you know, I used my weight towards him and went back. And we knocked over a uh, do not slip, a wet floor sign. One of them little yellow signs that stand up. We knocked that over and he fell on it and I fell on top of him. So when it closed, it made like a big smack noise. When it like when it was said smack, made a big loud noise. So everybody went to breaking it up and all this and everything. And then... The officer actually was in the booth. He came to see what was going on through the glass into the open bay. And, you know, everybody was in there breaking up, breaking up. The officer went to banging on the glass. Boom, 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 boom. And everything like that. And we jumped up and I went to laughing and joking and shit. Like playing it off like if it was fake, but it was really a real fight. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> and he kind of used... 
the officer catching us is a reason to not go another round because he told me to tighten up. You see, so so once we got up and everybody broke it up, our uh, our my, my shirt was all soaking wet from all toilet like toilet water, shower water, whatever it may have been, sink water. Because anyone who's been to prison, they know that it's it's kind of hard fighting in the uh, bathroom because there's always water. Like they're not not like it's always underwater. There's drain holes like behind the wall where the open showers are at or, you know, where the sinks are all lined up, there's a drain hole, you know, and stuff like that. So it was wet basically where we fought at and you slipping and shit and sliding. I'm going to tell you all another fight I got into one time when I was slipping and sliding, but this one wasn't really that much slipping and sliding. It's just, we made the noise when we fell on top of the, the wet floor sign. And uh, the officer banged or whatever, so played it off like it was all legit, fake, and everything, this and that, this and that. And then bro was like in his feelings, like a female, like he he ain't want he ain't talk to me no more for like a good month and a half. We ain't mess with each other, bro. Like he was just like he acted like someone totally different, bro. You feel me? But I showed him that ain't nothing, you know, ain't nothing pie about me. I'm gonna get there. So you never want to buck a call out. All right, like I've seen so many people, you know buck call outs and like it'll come to the point to where if you buck a call out man that's that's just like breaking it off because you buck the call out now they're gonna see the weakness in you you know and they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna be after you like you know they're gonna just they're gonna they're gonna be like wolves on the prowl of, of fresh bait because they know you know you buck the call out your respect went out the window as well you feel me so you know after me and bro fought and we didn't talk for like a month and a half or whatever we ran into each other again on the spades table. But this time, he, he he's one of the dudes that's on the opposite team of me and shit like that. So then throughout a plan or whatever, you know, y'all become cool even though y'all are opponents or whatever. So we still, we, we ended up managing being straight or whatever. But I showed him shit one sweet. Like, I wasn't going to buck a call out. You know what I'm saying? So, all right. Um, Another time I got in an altercation, right? This was over the canteen line. You know, I was in the canteen line. And, um, we were standing out there. This was at Calhoun. Um, we were standing out there in the canteen line and some dude was like trying to skip the whole line just to get a card check. You see what I'm saying? Like, because when you want to, when you want to get your card check, that's to see if you have any money on your canteen, if your people's dropped your money or anything like that. You know, some camps you go to that shit's real like strict to where you, you got to stand in line just as long whether you're getting canteen or just getting a card check you know so um some camps have it to where they have a card check line and the canteen line you know so it, it, it's kind of different you know like at charlotte that shit was wide open you know you'll walk up hey man let me get a card check you know like and everybody in line will be like go ahead frog what do you feel me like they'll let you cut the whole line you know like people you know respect thing you feel me so but anyways it wasn't the simple fact that bro like you know, went to cut or whatever to, to get a card check. It was the fact that by him doing that, you know, at this time at Calhoun, they wasn't allowing that. You know, you had to stand in line regardless, you know. So, and then when people do get a card check and they got their canteen and it is on there, they're going to be like, hey, I'm just going to order. Like, they try to skip. You feel what I'm saying? They're, they're going to want to order anyways. Like, who's going to, you finally hit there and then, oh, it's on there, bro. You're not going to risk trying to get in line again. So, the simple fact to me was the, was... By him doing that, the officer caught him getting a car check and the, li the line allowed him getting a car check. You know, everybody was like, go ahead, bro. It ain't none shit. And since everyone vouched to let him do that, the officer said, close this shit down. Started started snapping. It was like, close that window. Close it. It's over with, man. Y'all go back to the dorm. Go back to the... You see, like, he, like, basically shut the window down because bro got a car check. You know? So I'm like, damn, dog. I'm like, man, that's crazy, Sarge. I'm like, man, what you mean, man? We ain't hit canteen in three days. This and this and he's like, dog, this and that, 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 this and that. You feel me? So he he closed the window down, you know, and the person who works in the canteen window is an inmate. So when that officer go to yelling in there, you know, they going to swoop, they going to close that little window. It ain't nothing but a thing of bars with like a little window about this big with a cardboard box. So when you drop everything in there, it slides and then they put a bag there. So it all slides into your bag. You know, that's an inmate that works in there. So he ain't going to risk losing his job. That officer say, shut it down. He's shutting it down. So they shut it down or whatever. And I wasn't one of the people who vouched, like was like, go oh, ahead, hey, bro. I was kind of hot. I really needed to hit the canteen window. You know, I don't really recall the reason why I really needed to hit the window. Like, 
Um, it could have been anything. It could have been like I wanted to get tatted. It could have been, you know, I wanted to gamble that weekend. I wanted to, you know, anything. Me and my dogs wanted to, you know, throw down on a goulash or 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 my dogs could have like bought all the canteen this week, you know, and then I'd be like, boom, don't worry. Next week, I'll be the one that floods it for us. So we're good. You know, like it could have been anything. So I really needed to hit that canteen window. So, um... <sighs> I snapped or whatever. I was like, man, that shit crazy, bro. Y'all got this fuck ass nigga. I call. I went to snapping and this and that, this and that. And he's like, oh, bro. So what you saying then, bro? What you saying then, bro? What you saying then, bro? Get there then, bro. When we get back to the door, bro. Get there, cracker. Get there, cracker. Went to call me a cracker and all this, this, this and that. You feel me? So I'm like, man, you ain't saying nothing. You ain't saying nothing, bro. I see, you feel me? Like, don't meet me there. Beat me there, bro. You tripping. So then, boom, we go back into the dorm. Everybody's like, man, y'all tripping, man. Y'all tripping. This and that, this and that, this and that. And and you know, and and he was someone I was actually kind of cool with. You know what I'm saying? Like we've we've cooked together. You know, we smoked cigarettes together and everything. You know, we was in there vibing. You know, it is just, you know, it's just every day you wake up, whatever's on your chest. You know, and shit builds up. You feel me? So we go, we go, we go in the bathroom. So when we go in the bathroom, you know, shit, we don't want to talk. We go in there. My dumb ass. Tries to rush him. Like, as soon as we go in there, and I said, man, tighten up. When he threw his set, I tried to rush him. As soon as I ran towards him, went to throwing him things like this, you know, he's trying to back up. I slid right by him into the wall. Bloom, 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 bloom. And then it was just a sloppy fight from there on out for both of us. Like, he'd swing, I'd duck, and then I'd slip, and then I'd swing, he'd duck, he'd slip. But then we, we were connecting a little bit, you know what I'm saying? But, uh... We grabbed each other, like, like, and went up against the back stall and, like, slipped down into the corner of the wall in the back stall. You know, like, back there, you know, that shit's nasty back there. Everybody knows that's nasty, you know what I'm saying? The back stall where everybody be gunning at, you know, with their magazines and shit like that, you feel me? So, uh, due to so much water, there was a lot of water. That bathroom, that our bathroom at that time was flooded, and uh, we didn't have no hot water. And what I mean by, like, no hot water was, like... The shower water was cold, so you would literally see people filling up buckets. Like, they'd fill up uh, boulders coffee jugs. They'd fill up boulders coffee jugs and, 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 like, and, and, and actual, like, mop buckets. They'd fill that up, you know, they'd, they'd mix the cold water and then go into their, uh, the open bay where the hot faucet is by the water fountain and put hot water in there like that, and they'd be dumping it on each other to shower. It's like, you know, they take a bath out the sink at that place. It was, the water was so cold, we had no hot water. So other than the food, that the water that you use for your food that was inside the TV room, you know? So, like, there was always water on the ground, you know what I'm saying? But when it comes to a fight or whatever, bro, you know, you don't care about that shit. You know, you're going to take the risk and go with it. So, you know, like I said, I ran in there and tried to rush them and... I was throwing him at him, and he was, he was like, backing up, trying not to get hit. And I slid right by his ass, swoop, right into the wall, boom. And went to throw another one, swoop. We went to fight, boom, 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 boom. You know, he slipped. I slipped. We both slipped. You feel me? And it was funny because that was one of the fights where I wasn't going to buck a call out regardless. But that was one of the fights to where after I fought, I was like, damn, dog, what the fuck? Like, I man, I shouldn't even, man, what the, like, I was mad at myself, because look at my clothes, dog, look at my fresh white tee, you know what I'm saying, shit like that, so, um, and that's one of the ones where, like, me and him weren't even mad at each other after that, bro, we was laughing our ass off after that, like, we, we you know, we was like, that's how you know when it's really in you, you know, them people that be mad and keep that shit on their chest forever, they really feel some type of way, they don't talk to you for the rest of their bid, this and that, this and that, you know, they most likely feel like they lost and they mad and, you know, they can't get over the fact that they got greased, you know, so me and him were laughing our ass off after that, man, we were all, you know, shit like that, and um, I remember I hit my head, like I hit my head on the, when we fell into the corner, like I was, I wasn't on the bottom, you feel me? But I wasn't on top either. We both fell into the corner. I hit my head on the nozzle part, the part that you push to flush the toilet. You know? Well, we don't use our hand, though. At most camps, you use your foot and you push it down. But that, I hit my head on that. And it felt like something real hard just, boom, like poking you. Bam, dead in the head. Like, it didn't, it felt like I hit the end of it. So, uh, you know, that was one time I got in a fight where there was all... Get the water in there and shit like that, man. We were both regretting that shit. We went over there with smoking cigarettes, laughing about it and everything. 
another time I got into it. This was at Charlotte, you feel me? I got into it, uh, you know, my dog Sean was there, a bunch of people were there, whatnot. <laughs> but um little female officer I fought with or whatever, she was she was in she was working in the in the dorm at the time or whatever. But uh I'm talking to my dog or whatever, and then uh shout out to my dog Tampa Jit. This when I get into a fight with Tampa Jit, you feel me? Uh he, uh, we sitting there, we in the dorm, the whole dorm's at wreck, you feel me? The whole dorm is at wreck, all right? And I mentioned me getting into a fight with Tampa Jit before we went five rounds or whatever, like in the corner, but at first, when it first happened, he was like, oh, what, this cracker that, this and this and this, he said, cracker this, cracker that, you feel me? So I said, man, you man, what you saying then, bro? And he's like, oh, tighten up then. I said, nigga, all right, tighten up. So then when we go in the bathroom or whatever, you know, he 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 tried to talk to me. Oh, nigga, so what you thinking I was just an average white boy, you feel me? That's my dog to this day, you feel me? I still talk to him and all on Messenger. Like, we be calling each other on face. Then my dog, I fought with him heavy, you feel me? I'm a dog. And uh, when he's like, man, this is it, I rush him. I run in there and I start rushing him. Boom, 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 boom. I get on top. I start, you know, I, I got the best of him, you feel me? And then after that, the female officer went to banging on the glass. So I, boom, I get out, I look over, and then she's like, what the fuck you doing? Like, what, 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 you know, like yelling and shit like that, you feel me? So then I'm like, man, I was just playing with him. I was just playing. I walk back into the open bay dorm. The whole dorm is at wreck other than like four other people. So then I'm like, man, tighten up again. Tighten up. What you want? Tighten up. Tighten up again. You know, he was like, oh, oh, you're going to get one. You're going to get one, bro. You're going to get one. And I was, and I remember he had a knot right here. And I was like, bro, you got a Looney Tune knot already on your head, bro. You tripping, bro. You feel me? So then um, I was trying to fight him before everybody came back in from wreck because he was a gang member. You feel me? That was, My doll was a gang member. You feel me? So due to him being a gang member, I'm trying to go ahead and get it before it stalled, starts an altercation with everybody because I know once my dogs come in, once Shine, all the mother boys come in, everybody come in there, it ain't going it ain't gonna go down like that, bro. Everybody going to want to fight him for me. You feel me? Like everyone, like even if, even if I fight them and take them up through there, they still gonna want the pressure. They still gonna, you feel me? So I tried, I'm like, man, tighten up, tighten up. Like I'm trying to get to him before everybody come back in from the dorm. You feel me? He's like, oh, you gonna get one, you gonna get. So he waited till everybody came back in the dorm to, oh, oh, so what you saying? And what you, so then he said something to my dog. You feel me? My dog, that, uh, my dog that was a Z. You feel me? That was from Pompano, my dog Kel. He said something to him. He was like, hey, man, did it? And Kel was like, no, nah, fraud, what you? I said, man, ain't nothing, nigga. So boom, we tighten up again. This one, we get in the corner, we fight five rounds. You feel me? And I mentioned it in the video before we went five rounds. You feel me? Man, but that's my dog to this day. You feel me? But, and then as soon as they, everyone came back in from wreck, Sean and everybody looking like, what, what happened? And then Sean was like, nah, bro, you a gang member. Boy, tighten me up. Boy, you trip. Like, he ready to get his nation in about me. You feel me? His nation finna get involved about me, bro, because this is a gang member. You feel me? Now, my dog, he was a bounty hunter, though. He was a West Side Blood. You feel me? So, you know, uh, whatever. So, uh, we fought five rounds or whatever, which I mentioned that in the video already. But the whole point is, is when he was like, tighten up, crack it. You feel me? I didn't buck the call out. You see, you're never supposed to buck no call out. You feel me? That's, that's that's just how it is. You know what I'm saying? Like straight up. The two things that you never buck in the chain gang is a call out and a shower. You make sure you get your ass in that shower when it's time to bathe and you never buck a call out. You know, you got to keep it real, bro. Like straight like that. Win, lose, or draw. It's just a loss. You know? So that's how it is. You feel me? And uh, another time I got into it, I didn't buck a call out, but I called someone out, you feel me? Which, majority of my fights is, was like that anyways. Like, I'd get into it with someone, and I was always hot-headed. And due to the fact, you know, I'm white or whatever, you know, me, I gotta show them that I'm not your average white boy, you feel me? I'm not one of the ones that, are, that gonna, I'm not gonna let you play with me, you feel me? So, I'm not gonna let you try to short me or none of that stuff. So, uh, there's another time I got an altercation, right? We sitting there, we on the rec yard, and this was at Calhoun, and, um, we doing laps around the rec yard, which means like, <clears throat> you know, like you either run laps or walk laps. Any camp you go to, you're going to see the, the traffic walking around the, the rec yard. And these rec yards are pretty big, you know, so <clears throat> we're doing laps. So when we do these laps or whatever, they got a little game of football going on. So, you know, I don't know if it was an accident or if it was planned, you know, but in my mind, I look at it like I've seen in movies before where they're like, hey, bro, go out for a pass, go out for a pass. And then they throw the ball, and then the person will catch it and land right on these people. Well, they didn't do that to me, but they did that to the person I was walking with. You see what I'm saying? Like, they did, like, we're walking and talking and shit, boom, 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 boom. And then all of a sudden, the dude comes to catch the ball and chucks, bro, I'm walking with. 
So by him doing that, you feel me? I'm like, boom. Like, I, it, it, he didn't hit me. You get what I'm saying? But it, like, startled me a little bit where I'm like, oh, shit. You feel me? And then I was, like, kind of laughing about the situation. You know what I'm saying? But, bro, I laughed because I thought it was like, a, you know, it was planned. So I was laughing. And then, bro, got up and went to catch the ball. And he's like, oh, nigga, what you laughing at, nigga? What you laughing at, nigga? What you think shit sweet? I said, bro, who you talking to like that, nigga? Tighten up, fuck, nigga. Like, I got hot because the way he approached me, you know what I'm saying? The way he said it. And I'm laughing because I thought they did it to get him, bro, upset. But then the way he jumped up off the ground, like, uh, there was puddles out there, too. Like, the grass was sunken in water. So when he did all that shit, he, like, slid a little bit. So he got up wet and shit, too, you know. But, man, when you're in prison and it's raining and shit and you on that wreck yard, boy, that's the best time. You know, you see grown-ass men out there with murder, with, with, with serious cases, done been down there 20 years, done caught 60 years just recently, everything. And when it's raining out there, boy, it's like the longest yard. Like, everybody's out there, boy, hanging, boy, they, 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 you love when it rains when you're out there on the wreck yard. You get what I'm saying? So, uh, I was laughing and shit, and I was gonna help bro up. But then he was like, oh, nigga, what you think shit funny, boy, I should punch you in your shit right now. That's what he said, like that. Or some shit. And I'm like, what? I'm like, man, nigga, tell you now, you got me fucked up. And then, the way it was at Calhoun, is where the rec yard is. They have a little hut. Like, as soon as you go through the gate, you know, they have a little uh, a pavilion that has the bathrooms and all that stuff like that. And they have a little small, there's a door you walk in under the pavilion where they got little weight stuff. Little, little, little like, it's supposed to be like where the weight equipment's at. You know what I'm saying? But it isn't weights. It's just like uh, equipment. I mean, as equipment, I mean like a jump rope and stuff like that. So I'm like, man, tighten up there, bitch, you talking crazy. And I went to walking up towards the pavilion for us to fight in that little, for us to fight in that little box thing like that. Now, the the dude who worked there, which was the, which was the rec yard orderly, he already knew I stand some shit. He knew that, like, you know, he, he, he fucked with me, you feel me? He was like a lifer or some shit, but he was like, man, this and that. I say, man, I'm finna bust this shit. Let me get, let me, and we went in there and we brawled. Like, we went in there and we fought and everything. And, um... We like we almost got caught, but we didn't get caught because at Calhoun they have the gun tower up there. They got the tower, and the officers watch the wreck yard and stuff like that. So, and then they walk around. Also, they have a little sidewalk, you know, that that goes around on the back end of like majority of the wreck yard is all grass. But then once you get to the far gate, there's like a sidewalk, and the officers walk along that sidewalk. You know, they do their rounds as well. You know, and they don't want you. They want you like six feet away from the gate. You're not allowed within six feet of that gate. They'll act like they're, you're going to escape or something. So we didn't get caught, but we almost got caught because the officer up there, I guess, radioed to the officers on the rec yard to go into the pavilion or whatever. So we came out and um, my I had I had like my, my workout shirt, which was just my regular whites, you know, because you ain't got to wear your blues on the rec yard. And um, I had a hole in it from him. He, he, he was hanging on my shirt and he ripped my shirt. You see what I'm saying? So I had a hole in it. So what I did is I took my shirt off real quick when the officers came. And when they came, I took my shirt off and everything and stuff like that. And they came in there and they went to yelling at me saying, why you got your shirt off? Because you're not allowed to take your shirt fully off on the rec yard at that time. You see what I'm saying? Sometimes you can. Sometimes it depends on who the officer was. This officer wasn't the one like that. So uh, it was a female officer. She went to screaming at me, this and that, this and that. And I took the down the the wrap of having my shirt off rather than us get caught fighting you see like that and um that one now i felt tried though i felt like bro i felt like bro got off on me i felt like he, he did a little i feel like he did better than i did you know what i'm saying i told him to get there you feel me but i felt like he hit me one or two more times than i hit him you know what i'm saying so in my mind when we went back to the dorm i walked up to him and was like what's up bro you good what you, what, 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 and he was like, man, for all you know, you know what I'm saying, bro, it ain't nothing, bro. He's like, bro, you fuck with my brothers and them, bro, down there, and what's it called, this and this and that, this and that. You see what I'm saying? And and then it never turned into nothing, you feel me? So if that was a loss, I took that one, you feel me? I didn't, I didn't really, I wasn't like, oh, all right, because it was more of a respect issue, you feel me? But the fact that he said, I'll punch you in your shit right here, that's what made me get into the situation, you feel me? And I called him out, you see what I'm saying? Plenty of times, though, when I was in G-Dorm at, at Calhoun, all we used to do was call people up. Man, tighten up, tighten up, and get there, get there. You see what I'm saying? Like, because it was more of a fighting situation there rather than at Calhoun where we played with knives. You see what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> I feel like Calhoun had <clears throat> got me ready for Charlotte. You see what I'm saying? But 
Charlotte, it was a different ball game than Calhoun. You know what I'm saying? So, like, like I said, man, you don't want to buck no call out. No matter what it is, whatever you get into, you know, don't buck no call out. Like I said, the two things you don't buck is a call out and a shower. You know what I'm saying? I had another time I got into it. I got in an argument and we were by the chow hall waiting on the side of the chow hall on the long ass line just sitting there. And I'm like, man, fuck this tray, bro. I ain't finna sit there and wait for this tray. Fuck this tray. That's what I'm saying, right? So then... When I'm sitting there like, man, fuck this trade, all. I go to walk like, man, fuck this line. You feel me? I was going to leave and just cut through the chow hall. And when I went to cut through the chow hall, uh, I was on the side of the building on the wall, like in line with everybody. You still, you can't just turn around and leave. You got to walk through the chow hall and then clear it. When I went, to, when I got out of line and went to walk up and go into the door, like to exit through the chow hall, some dude put his arm up and was like, bro, you ain't cutting nobody, man. I said, man, watch your arm. And I knocked his arm out. And he, and he flinched, and I, and I flinched like I was finna split him because he flinched, you know, like me, like straight up, like I'll, I'll rock out. We'll go to confinement, bro, before I just let someone try me like I'm a sucker. Like, boy, if you swing on me, I'm not going to not fight you, bro, to not go to confinement, bro, because we're going to confinement regardless, bro. I'm, I'll, be, I'll be in confinement, bro, laughing, bro, and get that duffel sent back there to me before I just let someone swing on me. So... When he when I when I said man what and I moved his arm I was like man I ain't and when I pushed his arm down he turned like he was finished and I said man I wish you fucking would like that and then he goes oh you ain't saying nothing bro when we get back to the dorm boy make sure you damn ready and I said oh you ain't saying shit boy I'm going in now fuck this trade he said yeah fuck this trade in and he go and me and him were he followed me like walked next to me we walked next to each other still following the officer's orders walking within the line with our hands behind our back rapping to each other the whole way to the fucking dorm us two too deep. Went to walk back to the door in a fight and argue just because, you know, we just because, you know, the way he said it. You feel me? Like, bitch, you true. And then I told bitch, it ain't nothing. So we go back to the dorm. And when we go back to the dorm, we go in there. There's there's only probably like six or seven people in the dorm. You feel me? But out of them six, seven people, four of them are like the peacemakers. You know, they're the peacemakers. They, they're like, nah, nah, bro, what, man, what y'all doing, man? Nah, bro, it ain't nothing, bro. Hey, bro, it ain't nothing. You know, they they, they, they were like, they, they just tried to settle the situation down. So when they were trying to settle the situation down and everything, you know, dude rapping like he don't want to settle the situation like by talking it out. So I'm rapping too, like I don't want to talk that shit out either, bro. He said, get there, bro. He said, get there, bro. I'm getting there. That's all I kept repeating. He said, get there, bro. I'm getting there. I'm here. I'm here, bro. And then after that, he said, like, oh, but you, what you saying? Oh, what you saying? I said, nigga, you ain't finna do nothing, bro. What you finna do? And I mushed him while everyone was in the way. I mushed him. And then he tried to grab me, like off rip. Like for some reason, a lot of people try to grab. But he tried to grab me. And I was uppercutting him like this while he was while he was grabbing me. And then boom. But he was, he was bigger than me. So we stumbled. And when we stumbled up against the wall and everything like that, he threw one overhand, hit me in the head. And shit started fighting. And then we went like that and started And then everybody just went to breaking that shit up. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then when that happened, after they broke that shit out like that, me and him got into it later on the rec yard. And I ended up going to confinement for it. We got into an altercation on the rec yard after that because it wasn't over with. And then him, he was walking around with his hand in his pants like he was clutching. You feel me? So me, I'm thinking he's clutching. You know what I'm saying? So I'm thinking like, oh, you insane. So I went over there and dug up right where I had the poker buried. You feel me? Just in case it goes wrong. Now I'm walking around like, boy, I, like I'm not going to crash because I got shit going on right now. I got money coming in and everything I got going on. I'm not going to crash and just run up and wet them. You feel me? But I got my shit, you know, just in case, you know, I had me a poker buried, you know, and um, we get into it on the rec yard. So when we walk around, next thing you know, he go and tell someone, you know, I, I notice him go up to someone. Then they walk up to someone else. Now there's three of them. They walk and they talk and the other two nodding their head. So I'm like, okay, boom. You feel me? So I got my shit. Uh, bro walk up. He's like, hey, bro, let me holler at you. I'm like, why? What's up? And I pull my banger, my poker out. And bro's like, nah, man, come on, bro. It ain't none of that crazy shit or nothing like that. He's like, hey, man, my dog feel disrespected, though, dog. You feel me? This man. I said, so what? Nigga, we just gritted. What, you want to grit again? And then he was like, why? You want to fight him again? I said, yeah, I'm on that. I said, yeah. I said, yeah, he walk around here clutching and shit. I said, people get, I said, people get killed like that. You feel me? He can't be walking around here clutching. You feel me? And he was like, all right, I'll go see what he want to do. So he walk over there or whatever. And bro was like, yeah, I want to fight him again. So then next thing you know, we went behind the handball court. We had a handball court. It was a wall. And then we went like, you're not really allowed near there. Like, okay, there's three of them. Like it was a, it was a wall and then another wall. And then another wall, no, it had its separations. We went behind the second one and we went in there and we got two rounds in real quick. 
and we gritted. And it's kind of hard because, you know, like you're watching for the police at the same time. So you're like looking and then you're trying to make sure no one's grabbing no banger and no one's going to jump you or nothing like that, you know. So we went two rounds or whatever and um, I busted his nose, which was... You know, it's always a good thing. Yeah, I feel me. I got that. You feel me? And I'm a white boy. You feel me? So it feels good to show what you do to your opponent. You feel me? But at the same time, it's kind of bad too. Because if he gets caught like that, they might, you know, they didn't have, I'm not, nah, they, they they had cameras at the time. But, you know, them cameras ain't on the rec yard like that. So, like, anyways, we fought two rounds or whatever. Um, After we fought or whatever, I went over there and where I took my shirt off at, my blue, I had my blue shirt on. When I took, when I was first went onto the rec yard, I had my blues on. And when I took that off and had my white shirt off to fight him, I, on my white shirt on to fight him, my blue shirt was sitting over there on the corner and I had my poker. So after I fought, I grabbed my shirt and my poker. And the other two dudes that was with him, you know, was telling him like, boy, you tripping, boy, that white boy could have wet you up, boy. That white boy could have wet y'all, boy, that boy. And then, and then he came up to me in the dorm and was like, damn, bro, you were finna wet me, bro. This and that, this and that, this and that. And I said, bro, I seen you walk around clutching, bro. I said, bro, you walk around clutching, boy. You got your hand in. He like, nah, I was just hot, bro. So I walk around with my fist ball, bro. Like thinking like, man, what I'm finna. I said, man, boy, you tripping, boy. I said, boy, you walk around, boy. I thought you was clutching. You know, like, like I felt threatened. Hell yeah, I had my poker, boy. I would have. I said, I would be real. I would have wet your ass up, dog, if you would have came at me with that bullshit. You feel me? So, um, like I said, bucking the call out is not the route to take. You know, like straight up. I never been I've never been jumped in the chain gang. I've been outnumbered though. I've been outnumbered to where like and the odds were like against me. Like I've been outnumbered to where like I felt like I was gonna get jumped. You know, one time I got in a fight over a pair of uh Nike Cortezes. They weren't even my Cortezes. You feel me? This 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 person's Cortezes got stolen and then when they got stolen, he didn't say nothing the whole morning. He woke up early in the morning. He woke up early in the morning and realizes his Cortezes were stolen. Boom, he didn't say shit all day to nobody. He waited until like 6 o'clock till everybody got off work from their 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 duties, whether it was the kitchen, outside grounds, whatever it is. Waited until they all came back to the dorm. Now he want to walk around 5, 6 deep going to everybody's uh, cut, like everybody's uh, bunk, like, like he putting down and shit like that. So... My dog, my dog was a, my dog was a gang member. You feel me? He he was like fraud. What's up? He was like boy, I want them Cortezes. You feel me? So I'm like go take his shit, then. You feel me? So then he was like, oh, what you finna get him for me? I said I know someone how to get him. So I hollered at this. There was this white boy named Pete Town. He was from Putnam County. I tell Pete Town, I'm like, hey bro, snatch some shoes right there. So he's like, all right. Pete Town grab him, boom, puts him in his locker and locks the lock. Pete Town sleep literally right next to right next to him. You feel me? So then when he go to like. When he come back and everything like that, and he go to turning up, he go to turning up like he finna whoop whoever got him and this and that, this and that. My dog's brothers was like, boy, frog, boy, you got to handle that, boy. You got to handle that, boy. You the one that took that man's shoes, you feel me? Really, I ain't the one that took the man's shoes, you feel me? I was just the middle man. Really, if anything, you feel me? I just, my dog wanted them. So he was like, boy, you finna get them? And I said, nah, I know someone that will, though. And then I told bro, and he did it. But he was the pie shit in the dorm. Like, you feel me? He was like literally the laundryman. You know, like the day he came in or whatever, him and another white boy, they came in or whatever. And them boys got TOH just the moment they came in or whatever. And ever since then, he literally did laundry. He told them straight up, I don't get no money or whatever. He, he caught 15 years for a little breaking in, for a little burglary charge or whatever. And only came out with like 12 bucks. See what I'm saying? So, first charge ever. You look at him, he, he's not living like that. You know, his mouth was all rotted from meth and everything. So, um... He ended up, you know, putting him in his locker. So no one ever thought he's the one that did it. But he did it because I said do it. You see what I'm saying? And then I, I did that because my dog, he was a Z. He wanted, you feel me? So I'm like, all right, boom, boom, boom. So then when bro to tighten up, my dog's brother was like, hey, frog, boy, you're going to have to handle that, boy. You're going to have to handle that. And then and then my dog city was like, boy, you tripping, boy. He like, boy, I told frog to do that, boy, on my face, boy. Hey, boy, he got to tie me up. Boy, I told Father to do that on my face, bro. And then his brother was like, nah, that's my home team. He's from Orlando. He from Orlando, bro. That's my home team. You feel me? So now nah, Father going to handle that. So then my dog turned around. He was like, damn, dog. And he turned to me. He's like, Frog, bro, what's up, bro? You might as well bust him. I said, all right, I'm going to bust him then. So boom, you feel me? I bust him. So we go, we go, we get in the paint. He like, oh, oh, you? You the one that took him? You the one? I said, man, tighten up, man, tighten up. So we get on the wall. Now, when we get on the wall and we go to fight, you know, he don't gangbang, you feel me? But he was a Chico, you feel me? Me, I don't gangbang either. So, 
But when we go to fight, all the Chicos that were rocking with him were standing all on the side of me right here. Like, and then the Z's all went and stood right there on the side of him. My doll Swipe, he had the broomstick and was standing there talking like the announcer, letting him know, like, boy, you feel me? We'll back the bus up about Frog. Like, straight up, boy, about Frog, boy, we're going to back that bus up. Straight like that, bro. Any of y'all jump in, boy, we backing that bus up. But at the same time, all the Chicos are right here against me. And then the people who, like, are rocking for me are against him. So as soon as we go to square off or whatever, you know, we, we square off. He throws some sloppy shit. Once he threw some sloppy shit, I, like, weaved and turned and had him where all the people were on his side and all the people that had my back were over here on my side. And we went to fighting and shit. And um, we went two rounds. And um, that was like a pie fight to me. Like, it wasn't really worth it. And it wasn't really nothing. You know what I'm saying? He got a couple in or whatever, but I won that one. You feel me? So then... um. After all that shit goes down or whatever, you know, there's tension in the dorm or whatever. You feel me? And then I wasn't even the one that took the shoes, like I said. So I took the fade for bro who took the shoes. You see what I'm saying? Like, because he did it basically because I mentioned it. You know what I'm saying? So, and then um, when we got on, like I said, he, he, he took them, but I knew he wasn't going to fight. You know, so I did He let someone smack him the moment he came in. You feel me? So I knew he wasn't going to get there. So I took the fade for that situation. Over a pair of Nike Cortezes, man. You feel me? So, a pure white pair of Nike Cortezes, dog. You feel me? So, that weren't even my size. Literally, they were like a size 7. Like, they didn't even fit me. That's where everyone, like, was shocked. Like, what the... Like, they didn't fit me. They weren't me. They weren't for me or nothing like that. You see? But I just was the one that stood up and wasn't gonna let no one feel like I was bucking no call out or nothing like that. Because he was booting up. And then all them, them Z's were like, boy, you go ahead, boy. You feel me? Frog, you feel me? Because they thought I took them when really I didn't. They still in this man's locker. You see? So then after the whole fight go down and everything and this and that, um, my dog Swipe had that shit in check. He had them boys. He had the whole dorm going to the uh, TV room and sitting there. And this and that, this and that. And he went to like talking to them boys. Like, look, this is what it going to be. Went to tell them the whole dorm. Like, boy, ba ba bum ba ba bum ba 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 bum And then while he was doing that, the white boy P-Town got the shoes out of his locker and walked back and put them on the bed. And then when he was, when he was done talking to Swipe, he was like, your shoes are back at your bunk. So that showed right there. I didn't have the shoes because I was in the TV room with everybody else. You see what I'm saying? With, with all them. You feel me? But anyways, the whole fact is, 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 is I still got there and fought, bro. And it wasn't even over no shoes that were for me. You feel me? So, like I said, never buck a call out. You feel me? Or shower. I'm going to make another video talking about showering in the chain gang, you know, like, like, it's, it's a must, like, it's crazy, you feel me, like, you have to shower, you feel me, a lot of people don't want to shower, because you got to shower with a bunch of dudes, and shit like that, but I'm gonna make another video about how it is, and how, how it goes, if you don't shower in the chain gang, and how the showers are, all right, but I appreciate everybody that's been messing with me, you know, everybody that's been, that's been, that's been supporting the channel, I'm up to 20k now, you know, um, like I said, I went live the other day, and, um, Eventually, I'm going to be live with Shine. You know, I was going to do it with him the other day. I be with him all the time. But, uh, you know, we just have a lot of shit going on on the streets. So, you know, y'all continue to like, subscribe. If you don't subscribe, go ahead. Um, and I'm thinking about dropping Volume 3, maybe Christmas, or I'm going to wait. It's like I got to – I'm iffy about it. I don't know if I want to wait till I get a certain amount of subscribers or if I want to go ahead and push that thing out for y'all for 2019. You feel me? So – but uh, like I said, man, I got that new merchandise. Y'all go check that out. And y'all follow me on Instagram, kfrog underscore 100. And I'll see y'all next time.